former vice president Atiku Abubakar has extended his sympathies to Nigerian workers, lamenting their plight under a government characterized by anti poor policies. Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate for the People's Democratic Party PDP, in both 2019 and 2023 general elections, conveyed his message on International Workers' Day, highlighting the ongoing challenges faced by workers in the country. In his address, Atiku underscored the grim reality confronting Nigerian workers despite promises of wage increment by the government. He emphasized the persistent hardship and harsh living conditions endured by workers, attributing them to the failure of successive administrations to fulfill their obligations. Drawing attention to recent development, Atiku criticized the unilateral decision of the current federal government of Nigeria to remove subsidies on premium motor spirit PMS, commonly known as petrol. He condemned the lack of consultation with representatives of Nigerian workers, denouncing the move as a display of disregard for their welfare. Hmm. Furthermore, Article decried the escalating tariffs across various service sectors without considering efforts to combat corruption and inefficiencies. He urged that such he argued that such measures only serve to burden ordinary Nigerians while perpetrating uh, systematic flaws. Reflecting on the historical role of workers in advocating for social justice, Atiku praised their resilience in the face of adversity. He invoked the legacies of the past labor leaders, such as Pa Michael Imodri, Pasca, and Comrade Adam Soshomole, noting their contributions to the struggle against tiring and bad governance. Expressing solidarity with Nigerian workers, Atiku condemned the erosion of labor rights under the current administration. He highlighted the the scarcity for the scarcity of fuel by skyrocketing prices of essential commodities, lamenting the government's failure to improve the living standard of workers. Despite the challenges, Atiku extend his congratulations to Nigerian workers on the occasion of Labor Day. He expressed hope that the theme of this year's celebration, ensuring safety and health at work in a challenging climate, would compel the government to prioritize the welfare of workers. In conclusion, Atiku Abubakar's message resonate with the frustrations of Nigerian workers grappling with economic hardships and government apathy. As a nation considerates Labor Day, this world has a reminder of the urgent need for policies that promote the well-being and dignity of all workers. Also, the the Presidential candidate of Labour Party, Peter Obi, the former governor of Anambra State, okay, he was the uh, 2023 presidential candidate of the Labour Party. He has extended warm greetings to Nigerian workers as he commiserated the 2024 Workers' Day nationwide. Through an official statement shared on his verified social media platform, Obi conveyed Convenge his profound pride and uh, admiration for the resilience and dedication uh, exhibited by workers across the nation. Acknowledging the invaluable contributions of Nigerian workers, OB expressed deep appreciation for their unwavering commitment to nation building despite facing numerous challenges and diversities. Please pardon me, adversities. 
He commended their selflessness in providing for their families, supporting their commitments, and fostering the overall prosperity of the country. In his message, Hobi highlighted the remarkable strengths and spirit exhibited by Nigerian workers, emphasizing their pivotal role as the backbone of society from the bustling urban centers to the tranquil rural landscapes. He recognized the tireless efforts of workers in various sectors, underscoring their indispensable role in driving economic growth and national development. Reflecting on the diverse roles and responsibilities shouldered by workers nationwide will be emphasized the significance of the labor in shaping the nation's trajectory, whether toiling under the, 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 the sun in agricultural feed or laboring amidst the wearing machinery of factories. He underscored the invaluable contributions of workers in sustaining the country's economy and advancing progress. Beyond their tangible contributions, will be lauded the unwavering patriotism, resilience, and determination as exhibited by Nigerian workers in the face of adversity, despite grappling with economic hardships, political uncertainties, and social injustice. He commended workers for their resolve and unwavering optimism in envisioning a brighter future of Nigeria. Expressing solidarity with workers will be pledged to advocate for their rights and champion their cause at all levels. He reiterated his commitment to promoting unity, justice, and a, a, equality for all citizens, emphasizing the importance of collective action in advancing the nation's interest. So guys, what's your take on this? Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.